Hi guys, Ben from Snowy's here today with the Austin RV4 canvas touring tent set up behind me here. It's one of the popular tents in Austin's RV range. Austin says it's a four to five person tent. Realistically, it's a comfortable sort of two to four, heaps of room for two, comfortable three. Now it's quite long when packed up. This is the storage bag I've got with me here now. So it's about two meters in length. So you do need to have a, a trailer or a roof rack to be able to transport this. It's not so good for people with small vehicles. I'll talk about the fabrics the tent's made of. This is an eight ounce poly cotton ripstop canvas. It's waterproof throughout and it's seam sealed. Now this has been in the tents for a long time. It's a tried and tested fabric. It's really durable, but it doesn't add too much extra weight to the tent. It's 23 kilos, so it's not the lightest, but it's still a nice durable tent. In our doors and windows, we've got a no seam insect proof mesh. So we've got the, the vent up the top here, and there is a mesh door in the entrance way here. And the frame inside here, and the alloy poles at the front here, well, aluminium poles are all a, a durable aluminium. So coming around to the side of the RV4, first thing is this little pocket here. That's where the guy ropes are secure. We haven't got that set up today. Always use the guy ropes if you're staying with it in for long periods or if it's windy. Below that, we've got a mesh window. Inside that mesh window is a storm flap, an internally adjustable storm flap. Keep moving around to the rear here. We've got another guy rope pocket at the top here. There's a mirror on the other corner as well. And then a large window at the back here with a big storm flap that's rolled up here at the moment. Now this has got multiple setup options. There's three tabs here that I can undo. So the first setup option is to have it open like this. We can roll it closed and zip it up here. There's a nice big overlap here with the fabric so that there's no water gonna get in. Alternatively, there's three guy ropes and a little stiffener bar in here. So we can actually peg this out like a small awning over the window to keep the rain out, but allow a bit of breeze through. Just before I get around to the front, I will mention this little zip at the top here. There's a half zip. Um, you might be wondering what that's for. That's to attach accessories like the fly. So um, we'll show you in another video how that works, but um, yeah, you need accessories to attach to that. So as we come around to the front of the tent here, we look at the entrance to the sleeping area. At the top of each door is a, a mesh vent. And this is uh, vented in the main, main door here. These are really important because it's a single skin tent on cold nights where you're warm inside and there's cool on the outside, you can get condensation inside the fabric. These help to mitigate that by allowing hot air to escape, you get less condensation. So make sure you use these vents. This one's rolled up, this one's closed. Rolled up's probably a good spot for those. Now at the front here, we've got a solid panel door and a mesh panel door behind it. These have got zippers, a T-zipper to close them all up. And I haven't mentioned the floor yet, but this is a heavy duty PVC heat welded floor, really durable and tough floor. We'll jump inside and show you what's in here. So sitting inside the RV4 here now, it's uh, as with all our tent products, it's simple and it's functional. I'll start at the base, uh, a couple of uh, storage pockets. There's one on this side and one on this side, just for your essentials. As we move up the walls, you can see that durable aluminium frame that our tent's well known for. On each side, we've got the window that we looked at from the outside with internally adjustable storm flaps, so we can open and close this from the inside. That is also mirrored on the other side here, also with another storm flap. While I'm in this corner here, I'll also mention this little uh, power access point in the corner here. You can open this from both the inside and the outside. It just gives you access for a cord to come through in this bottom corner. As we move up the tent, there's not much more. Simple, functional, there's no lantern hooks or anything in here. You could hang a lantern off this back hip bit here if you wanted a lightweight lantern. That's pretty straightforward. So looking at the space inside the RV4 here, Austin say a four to five person tent. It's gonna be a very squeezy four to five person tent. I think realistically, it's a, a quite a livable two uh, and a comfortable three. Now you've got 240 centimeters from wall to wall here, but the, the frame does impede on that a little bit and about 240 centimeters this way too, but you've got this sloping wall at the back. It's also important to notice that this frame here finishes short of the back. This is actually where the RV3 finishes and the RV4 has got this extra space here. So if you've got a mat here, it is gonna sit on top of this bar, just something to keep in mind. You've got 1.9 meters in height at the front there and obviously that slopes down pretty quickly at the back. So I can only stand up at the very front of the tent. Now, a lot of people want to know, can they fit a stretcher inside here? You can, I've actually got a King Goanna stretcher with me now. I'm just gonna grab it and put it in there and show you how it fits. So I've got the King Goanna stretcher here from Oztent in, in the RV4. Now this is 210 centimeters long. It's 80 centimeters wide here, but these poles at the end are actually 92 centimeters and it's 48 centimeters high. Now I've got this in the tent, but it is quite firm up against the end here. So if your head's here, you're gonna be, or your feet, you're gonna be touching this end of the tent. So can you fit them in here? Yes, you could fit two in here with a bit of space in the middle, but it's pretty tight. You could put it the other way around. I'll show you how that works. 
So I'll switch the King Goanna stretcher around now and it fits quite comfortably lengthways this way. And you could actually fit a second one in here, um, but you don't have any walking space around the stretchers and you've got a bit of wasted space down the back here. So answer to the question, can you fit stretchers in the RV4? One, definitely. Two, yes, but with two, you're not gonna have much walking space around the stretcher. Now, one other, one other thing I wanna mention about the, all the Oztent uh, RV tents is that this frame, all the parts are replaceable. So in the instance that you should unfortunately experience any damage, you can get spare parts to fix, a, fix the frame and get your tent back on the road. Now you can pick them up off our website at snowies.com.au with lowest prices every day with free delivery to just about anywhere in Australia. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.